This is a 03 Kia Sedona. I had to do a smog on this car, but it came up with a code, code P0452. And that is for a fuel tank pressure sensor. So I went to AutoZone to find out about the part. The part was worth about $145 plus tax and all that stuff. And, uh, and they had to order it anyways. So what I did is I went to the junkyard and actually bought two used ones for about ten dollars each and uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch it and uh i mean i can't imagine both of them being bad so uh, worst case scenario i just have to do it twice but it's pretty simple you see uh where you find the uh the fuel tank pressure sensor is right in the middle of the two uh uh, sliding doors that the passengers uh, on the floor you see right here from uh, the front of the van right here and you see that little triangle looking thing where you open it like this to the front and then what you see is you see four screws right there those are the first ones we have to take off okay so what we do is uh, let me see. I don't want to take up all your time. Just uh, you watching me take all this stuff. So, but I try to do it fast if I got this drill. So you take out this four screws right here. Sorry if uh, you're having trouble seeing this. I'm trying to hold this and do it at the same time bam see now you're you got one of these things off I don't, just get this out of the way let's put it somewhere in the back okay now you got this right here all right you see you got to repeat the same step with this other thing right here and I'm gonna try to do this fast you see okay so once again this is for the, my check engine light came on so I gotta fix this code for the what was it evap fuel tank pressure sensor and uh, so I got the parts yeah then you get to this other four screws right here and you lift this plate up just like so and then bam there we have the uh, part that we're looking for it's this one right here you see yeah and then uh let me get the tools that i need for this and i'll be right back okay sorry if it's a little dark over here but you see right here this is the other uh this is the part this is the uh Eva fuel tank pressure sensor. Remember, for that's for uh, the code for uh, the check engine light, which uh, was code P0452. Indicates the evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch has low voltage input for a predetermined period of time. Sorry about my reading. So uh, once again, uh, give me one second okay i think that's a little better now we got light so you can see the part see right there and then all we have to do is just take it out okay you see this is the part this is for o3 kia sedona so that's the same part as you see right there where the screwdriver is so we're going to take that one off and then put this one on all right so you see right here there's a little clip on this thing that you have to pull up and then you have to just wiggle this cable out right here you see you know that that screws it that screws it there but you see so this cable just comes out of there and then 
There's just this two screws right here that we have to take off. And uh, I believe, yeah, this is a 10, I believe, or 5 16s, I'm not sure, but this is two screws right here, see? Like I said, sorry, I'm using one hand to hold the camera and another one to do this, so bear with me. Okay, two screws. nuts I, I guess um, okay once again if you use a drill and you use both hands it won't take this long all right so we get that out of there okay now getting this out of here is a little bit hard it's a little bit of a tight fit in there so we have to wiggle it out so what I did is I have this little pry bar right here you see what I do is I put it underneath especially this one this is the bad one anyway so not to worry about it and then just have to get in there somehow here and just pry the baby up and uh, let me see if I can Put this here somewhere where you can see why I try and pry this. All right, sorry if I uh, gets a little messy and crazy here, but here we go. See, so under here, then let's get under there somehow. That side or this side this is the hard part see and then I just pry up with it you see and bam this is the part you see how this is the old one all right put it out of the way and uh, let me clean this up a little bit right here so we don't get any dirt in there and this is the new one you see that's the uh, the one from the junkyard so hopefully this is all we need to do and we are done then same thing you see you pop this baby down there and just push down on it get the little holes out of the way this is the hard part just push down on this and but see you have to I don't know if you have to wiggle it or what you have to do but okay yeah I know one thing this is kind of dry and let me get that the little um, thing right here hold on give me one second let me get some kind of lubricant or something all right, still trying to get this in here, and just gonna wiggle it a little bit. Try to get this thing in there. All right. All you have to do is just kind of get it started. Then what you do is you put the nuts on and. They should help you tighten it all the way after that. So I see see two nuts right here. I know you can't see because of my hand, sorry, the angle's kinda weird, but so you tighten one side a little bit, then the other side a little bit, triangle even so pop up in all the way and turn it we could just just to get there and then after that all you do is plug back in the uh see that little groove thing 
Okay, and uh, that should pretty much be it. That's that is fixing the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor EVAP, and uh, that's for our O3 Kia Sedona. Now, all you do is just reverse everything you did, put the stuff back over here. You see, four screws. And uh, and that's it. You're done. Uh, now I gotta figure out how this went, <laughs> which shouldn't be that hard. But all right. So uh, you see right here. You put four screws. Make sure all the wiring is out of the way. And uh, you see this. Uh, it's like a gasket here. Just make sure. You Put everything back together just the same way it was it's a good idea to uh, take a few pictures before you start to make sure you don't forget any steps you know and you don't have to re repeat everything you see right here um, all right I don't know if you want to watch me just put the stuff back together but this is all you have to do. Let me see. I mean, you can actually uh, check to make sure everything's okay before you do all this uh, stuff back up. Let's see. Let me just do a couple of screws on that. Right there. And after that, it's just this one. And you do exact same thing. All right, let me see. All right, you see right here, right here, right here. screws And then bam that's it you see like nothing happened okay now we're gonna try the car make sure though before you do this the car is off all right so um, hold on one second I'll be right back okay well uh, we are done now uh, well I think I have to either have uh, somebody reset the uh, check engine light or uh, before that I'm gonna try uh, just to unplug the battery and have the computer reset uh, I might have to drive it sometimes it takes up to like 35 miles just to be able to uh, uh, for the computer to reset but uh, if I'm lucky uh, the check engine light will go off and there will be no more code so uh, I'll keep you updated and thank you for watching if you have any questions please comment or subscribe thank you mm.